Lord Ahmed, uh, why did the Indian uh, Chief of Army Staff, uh, General Singh, issue that uh, open threat to Pakistan of a limited war? Uh, because uh, he's actually appeasing uh, some of these fanatics, just to show them that Indian Army is powerful and Indian Army is ready to fight with Pakistan at any time, at any cost. Uh, and I think that's the because he understands, and he's recently been appointed, so he knows he's uh, actually pleasing his uh, masters. Uh, basically, he knows what uh, Mr. Modi's uh, uh, stance is in terms of Pakistan and the way, because you remember when they were talking about sending uh, army like they did in Burma in Pakistan as well, because they were saying, they were alleging uh, that uh, uh, because enemies of India were based inside Pakistan. But the truth is, I'll tell you what it is. Because for the first time in the uh, last three decades that I've been dealing with India at least, uh, Pakistan has actually got the evidence of Ro being involved in terrorism and supporting terrorism inside Pakistan. For the first time, they know that uh, Ro has been supporting a political party in uh, Karachi. Uh, and that is, even the accounts have been, uh, and they know the transactions that have taken place, and everybody knows that. Then there are those nationalists in Blochistan that have been taking funding from uh, Afghanistan and also uh, inside Pakistan as well. And then there are these extremist and terrorist groups. Um, and I would even go as far as to say uh, that uh, tariq -e taliban have been receiving funding uh, from uh, India as well. Is that the reason why India cancelled uh, the meeting of the National Security Advisors that was supposed to be held on August 23rd in Delhi because Pakistan said, or Pakistani National Security Advisor Sartaj Aziz said that he had three dossiers uh, full of evidence of Indian intelligence agency Raw's uh, involvement in terrorist activities uh, in Pakistan? Absolutely. There are two uh, main reasons. One uh, is because uh, Pakistan's uh, uh, national security advisor or na uh, the foreign advisor, Sartaj Aziz, was carrying these uh, uh, dossiers and he was saying that they've got the evidence Raw is involved. And India was first saying, well, if you have any evidence, give it to us. When they realized they have it, then they decided not to meet because then they made the excuse uh, that they didn't want uh, the uh, foreign uh, affairs uh, advisor, Sartaj Aziz, to meet with the Kashmiri leadership. Now, here you have an interesting uh, scenario because the CPA uh, na uh, International Conference was going to take place in Islamabad, the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. India wanted the Kashmiri Speaker of the Assembly to be invited there. Now, if you bear in mind, this is the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association of Commonwealth countries and their assemblies. So in one hand, India wants Kashmir to be treated like a separate country. The, pro the problem Pakistan has, and I'll be honest with you, uh, the only response they've been getting so far is from General Rahil Sharif and uh, some uh, other military uh, personnel who have actually given some answers. But politicians, sadly, they are too busy in building infrastructure and also gas pipe lines where they can make money, rather than answering some of their uh, opposition from uh, Modi and Modi's uh, uh, government, that they should have it published. They should not make five copies just for Je Secretary General and Mr. Modi. They should do at least 300 copies. Give it to each member state representative at the United Nations General Assembly and also the 100 or so uh, international media to say, here we've got concrete evidence.